you know what, you always need him. But, you know, I, I think with Ross in there, we could have got a little more looks with B-roll playing the mic um, and moving guys around. But we haven't been able to do that quite as much because he's been out. But, you know, I mean, it's, you know, you never want to have injuries. You never want to miss some guy from practice. But, um, you know, we've done a pretty decent job moving guys around without him. Um, and, you know, it would be nice to get him back here this week. You don't know, and that's the thing. You're still trying to, you know, you're trying to like, always find out how to get your best 11 guys in the field, and, and you know, sometimes that's, uh, you know, as a star, sometimes that's as a Sam, sometimes yeah. that, you know, the thing with Tyler that another year of maturity is going to help him with is, you know, he understands more things. He's more under control, so he can jump into different spots and play a little bit different positions, and, and uh, you know, you, you never worry about what he's going to do on game time because you know he's going to be running and hitting and yeah. giving you everything he's got. It's just... Uh, making sure you put him in the right place that he can do what he's supposed to do. They're, they're an athletic group. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a different, it's a quieter group. Um, I don't mean that in any positive or negative way. It just means that, you know, they're not the guys up there in the front of the huddle. They're not the guys that, you know, walking down the hall, people might be, you know, coming through looking for autographs and the media might not be looking to, you know, want to get a good shot and a talk with this person. but. You know, I think that's the role that they want to be in. That's the role that, you know, most of them would have, would rather be in anyway. Um, and you know, it's 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 you know, it's it's exciting. It's you know, it's different, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's refreshing at times too. You know, I can have longer meetings because the coach doesn't need James and Marcus to come down and talk to the media every night. Yeah. You know, I can keep them in there and we can do football. And He's an exciting kid, and you know, like I said, when the, when the lights come on, I, you know, it, it doesn't matter what day it is. He he, he is an energetic. Uh, he has a fire about him. He, he's a he's a worker. He's you know, so the things that show up like that are on the kick scrimmage where sometimes it's like guys are holding on. No, oh, gosh, we got to run down there 12 times on punt, or you know, we got to run yeah. down a rain. You know, it's it's competition to him, and that's what he loves. And all of a sudden. Some guys are going at three-quarter speed or something, and he, he doesn't. He doesn't have a three-quarter speed. And, um, he's done a great job all spring, but a lot of those situations like that, when 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 a competition raises, you know, he's right there, and it's it's obvious. Well, I, I don't think the expectation level ever changes here. That's the thing about this place, you know, whether it's a position or or a team. We're expected to win every game, and that's you know, that's what they they want to do, and that's what they plan on doing. And each and every year, we try and raise the expectations, and I think that's probably the biggest thing that we've communicated to these guys that you know we're not going to do a million different things because we might have some new guys, but we're really going to raise the expectation level at, at what we expect out of you on on every single play. And uh, I think that's been a, a you know, like I said, a, a good thing so far with this group because they are a little bit younger or maybe more inexperienced. That yeah. hey, we're going to rely on you know. You guys know what you're doing, but playing and having greater expectations instead of it being a scheme thing. I'm sure at times, if you if you watch enough, it, it's frustrating. But the nice thing about it is, it's all over with. I mean, the, the workouts, and now he's just at the mercy of whatever they think. And uh, he, he, you know, he, he's he's pretty solid. That's the thing. It's, some guys I think it would really be hard on. I'm sure inside it is hard a bit, but you know, he's he's pretty good at you know, so level headed, he's so smart that, you know, he's got that same mentality, whatever it is, it's you know, I'm gonna make it and that's what's gonna be i I'm gonna be successful because of who I am. Um, but I I don't believe us. I mean I just I, I gotta I mean I don't know much about it, but it, they're you know pretty sure fire I think because you know, you're going to get everything you want. It might not be a one-year, two-year Pro Bowl guy in the first or second year, but I can't imagine that they can't look at anything and find anything really negative. Oh, I felt amazing. You know, it's been uh, you know kind of frustrating, kind of depressing. You know, being on the sideline, you know, for most of the spring, and uh, just watching my teammates fly around out there. So uh, it felt real good. Uh, yeah, yeah, just be, be smart with it, you know, just don't, uh, you know, you know your own body, you know, don't open up, you know, all the way, so, uh, but it felt good, you know, it feels good right now, and I'll just keep rehabbing, and uh, hopefully get 100%. Uh, you 
Uh, you know, Brian's been doing great out there, you know, been fun around, you know, using his skills. Uh, Austin Spiller, you know, he's been doing a, a great job from, you know, from leadership role, you know, being a senior and, uh, you know, just being out there, being a physical force, you know, making plays and uh, that's about it. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, you know, today was actually the first time I actually got you know contact with them, so uh, it's kind of weird, you know, since high school. But uh, uh, it's it's a good feeling, you know, and uh, I'm very blessed. But uh, he's been doing great out there. Uh, he's loving it. He's still learning, you know, from uh, one being a student and then two being an athlete as well. So, uh, but he's he's loving it. Yeah, you know, he came in, you know, he wanted a challenge, uh, you know, set goals for himself, and uh, you know, he tries to get better in the weight room, you know, every practice, you know, hustling, trying to run an offense down. And, uh, but he's having fun as well. Yeah, he, had, he had a problem uh, <laughs> our, uh, after our scrimmage on Saturday. So we had the scrimmage and he had to hustle back and go to prom. But uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's uh, I mean, he set high goals for himself. He's a hard worker. You know, he's always in the weight room, always you know trying to get better. So uh, I mean, he, he deserves it. Yeah, of course, we have great players year in and year out. A lot of the guys are were in my same shoes, you know, so it's, uh, you can't, you don't expect it coming in. You obviously, you want to play, but then again, you know, it, it, it happens so often. It's not like you're the only one that's happened, so you have some people to talk to. Yeah, we talk about that. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a, a no-name team, and we kind of like that. We kind of like flying under the radar. <clears throat> um, but really, I, we, we've really stressed team in this spring, and uh, I really feel that we've grown so much just through spring ball as a team, as a whole unit, not just defensively and offensively, but just everybody coming together, just really understanding, uh, you know, our roles and what we're uh, going to do with the team this year. I mean, you got as, as, a, as a Mike linebacker, you kind of have to know all the positions. So it kind of came, you know, naturally. I kind of knew it, I guess, already. But it's, uh, you know, puts you out in space a little more, gives you a little more freedom, a little more pass rush uh, off the edge. It's, uh, it went well though. It's, it's been going well. We, we, you know, we do have a lot of depth that that position, a lot of talent, I think. So, and uh, it is it is tough. You look around some days, and you're like, "Ooh, like we have some great players around." Um, you know, when we're on, you know, we're on the field. It's always, you know, we're always competing. But we're on the field, you know, I like I like every single person that group. We all get along. There's no, there's really, like honestly, there's really no complaining. Yeah, it is. You know, we're really, I feel like a linebacker group is a really close group. So.